everybody. All the parts for the emitter system finally came in, so we're gonna start running lines today. Everything should be set out here for the day. Just looks like the tomatoes are gonna need leaned and lowered here soon, and another vine clip up there. New cucumbers are gonna need another clip too. Mom got up early to come and plant some things before we get started today. Looks like some red and green oak leaf. And I think she said some endive and iceberg. Here's all the supplies dad's been gathering and he's got it all mapped out too. So we just gotta grab a couple things out of the control tunnel. I guess the new um, pressure valve, or whatever these are called. Okay, so the emitters. Yeah, the six to go on there. Here's some more heaters here. Yeah. Um, let's see. Forgot something. Our little tool to pierce the pipe. So these are old emitters from last year, and we're gonna pull them out and see if we can reuse them. So this, that one might work. I like to recycle stuff and reuse it. Yeah, why not? And then we have less holes to poke. Yeah, that's true. I think we should move those tomatoes to along here and then have this have dad do a new row right through here to do all the cherries in one row yeah and then they'll be out of the way so yeah. we can get our other line because that's going to need a new line Strawberries are transpiring again. We decided we're gonna put in new lines for the hops and the tomatoes, because they just weren't spaced like we wanted, and we can use those old ones in, out in the garden. Crank it down just a little bit to get some air in. There we go. That'll cool it off. Good. 
The black pipe with the emitter stakes will work good for the tomatoes and the peppers, but we have to go up to the barn to get the drip tape for the strawberries. Haven't checked in here for a while in the garden, see if the asparagus is coming up. We also haven't been able to mow with all the rain. You saw some? Yeah, down here. See? Those are the ones I planted. Yeah, the ones you planted. Yes! yes. Look at that! Is that good? Yeah. Are you to the end? Yeah, I got some extra in the end here so we can tie. So this drip tape has a hole about every eight inches and we're just laying it in the buckets and moving the strawberry plants so they're on top of the drip tape. It sits nice down in there. Dad's putting in plugs for the end of the line there. Three quarter inch barbed plugs. Then you get the contractor bag full of um, hose clamps. That's pretty inexpensive. And you just pop it, put a nice hole in it. That one long enough to do both of so. There you go. So this is a pressurized emitter system and that way all the plants along the whole line will end up getting nutrient solution whether they're close to the pump or towards the end of the line. And for what I'm putting in is a double spaghetti tube with the emitter stakes and then this right here is a pressurized dripper and it'll allow 0.5 gallons per hour. So we're thinking about running the timer probably about 20 minutes or so and we can have the timers come on up to four times a day. So we're going to kind of do a little trial error with that as we get started. So I'll let you know what we end up deciding to do. We got a bit more work to do on getting the emitters all in for all the plants, but after we get this shade cloth and these hanging baskets out of here, we're going to have the concentrated nutrient barrels, and then Dad's plan is to mount the dosatron system right up here on this front. I'm going to have four different valves that will run off of a timer, and one valve will control the strawberries, one valve will control the tomatoes, one valve the hops, 
and one valve the pepper. That way we can control the start and stop times of each valve. Each valve can be programmed up to four starts and four offs a day. So if we find out that the strawberries need, let's say 30 minutes on four times a day, we can do that and not affect anything else in the greenhouse. Maybe the tomatoes only need 10 minutes a day or 10 minutes a time four times a day or the hops might only need twice a day. So then we can control that and the valves open and close on a 12 volt system that's a timer. Well, that was a good start. Yeah, thanks nice. for helping. Yeah. You know, better late than never getting these in. I know we're a little late in the season, but we had to wait for the parts to come in. Yeah. But it's going to make it so nice this year having that all automated. You still want to go flower shopping tomorrow? Oh, yeah, let's go. I want to get some um, red geraniums. I have to watch myself because I tend to go a little bit crazy here every year. But this place is called Green Valley Growers and they have anything you could need for gardening or flower beds. And I'm hoping to get just a couple things to go along with those flowers that we started back at the greenhouse. Oh, mom drove the van. Did you go crazy? Not as crazy as you. <laughs> <laughs> Just one shopping cart full. We have lots of color around. It's gonna look really cool. forgot about these Thai basil seeds that I had ordered but I got this idea from mom because she grows these in the hydroponic greenhouse and this stuff has really pretty green leaves and then these cute little dark purple flowers on the top so I thought they'd look neat in the one flower bed and then of course you can eat them too so kind of a two for one edible and ornamental These seeds are pretty tiny. Come little honeybee. Come on, go fly. We used to have honeybees that lived in the barn between the wall and the granary, but I haven't seen anything this spring, so I don't know. These are some of the planters I want to get filled in. And then I'm thinking about putting the Thai basil along here, along the hops. I need to look how to trim these up. But I'm getting so anxious to put everything in. It's just we're still about 10 days away from our last frost date. I got a couple around the house that need filled in too. But Mom and I made a point to go out to Green Valley Growers today before they got picked over and sold out that's what happened last year and we think it was because of the pandemic you know just people stuck at home wanting a little color around the house and actually today it was really busy too so if you're looking to get some flowers you might want to go sooner than later Let's see if we can get my crazy cat to come over here come here kitty kitty come here kitty this is kitty meow named by blaine when he was two years old <laughs> He's a good cat though. I'm gonna get these guys a drink and then get them up on the porch because it's supposed to be cold the next couple nights. But hopefully the next time I see you, we're finishing up the new injector and emitter system. And I'll probably show putting these together too eventually. And if you're watching this video right when it comes out, happy Mother's Day to all the lovely ladies out there. I'll be seeing you all again soon. Thanks for watching.